X lazy people of Reddit, how did you overcome your laziness? Most replies are probably from people who've been sitting in the toilet for 45 minutes browsing Reddit lol. What have you been up to hotshot? I realized that my goal in life is to live in perpetual lounge mode, and in order to achieve that I really needed to be successful in life and make good money early on. So that's what I did, I learned and worked as hard as I can with the goal that one day, I will retire and just lounge around in my giant house and play video games all day. It took a while for me. I realized my laziness was probably due to being depressed, and I was depressed because I wasn't doing anything but coming home and smoking pot and playing video games. Now, I don't have problem with a little weed and video games, but for me it was routine. I started going to the gym every other day and started being more active to combat depression, and I've since lost backslash tilde 70 pounds and have become a lot happier with my way of life. I quit smoking mainly for the job I'm currently trying to get, and that only helped because rather than coming home and getting stoned I wanted to do other things with my day. I have actual hobbies and interests now, and find that I like myself as a person now. For me it was mostly being tired of doing nothing. Now, saying that is much easier than actually getting over it. I did my best to make it something of a habit. Come back from the office, rough day, tired as hell. Kitchen's messy? Clean it, doesn't matter how tired you are. You'll feel better when it's clean. Gotta do laundry? Do it. You'll have fresh clothes later. I've come to find that thinking about how doing something will result in a positive goes quite a ways in terms of incentivizing you to do it. With time, the forcing yourself stops feeling forced and it becomes natural. My two cents. Edit, whoa, my first silver. Thank you, kind redditor. Edit number two, you, gold? Thanks so much. Edit number three, another silver. You're crazy. Thanks. Less than three edit number four, and another gold. A. Gonna take this chance to say hi to, slash r slash award speech edits https colon slash slash www.reddit.com slash r slash award speech edits slash. I asked myself, so what if I'm tired? Will I fail at this? Now, the answer depends on the task. Exhaustion can lead to mistakes. Tired me is clumsy and should maybe not dust those super valuable vases. However laundry, taking out the trash. There's lots of things tired me can do. Agreed until you make the mistake that causes that garbage bag to rip open and spill everything out at 11pm right before you go to bed and you stand in your kitchen in partial light wondering which god you pissed off enough to allow this. Realized the laziness was actually procrastination caused by my anxiety and depression. I go to therapy now and I've come up with ways to curb my procrastination, such as setting timers, giving myself rewards, finding more effective ways to work and working out what triggers my anxiety, and I'm less harsh on myself if I'm not up to a task. I didn't, but if I put things off I only end up having to work even harder later, so I don't. I'm still lazy, but I'm smart lazy. Quit smoking pot. Quit drinking. I cleaned my room. I used to weight close to 300 pounds my room had trash all over it, you couldn't even see the floor and I was 19 years old. I decided to change, I cleaned my room, then started going to the gym, lost 100 pounds in a year, and now at 23 am healthy, happy, and in a long term relationship, with a great job, and living life to the fullest. Started by establishing a routine. Wake up early, jog, shower, breakfast. The rest of the day is structured in blocks of work and breaks to allow me to focus on what needs to be done that day. Being lazy started to require more effort than the actually task, it just started to not be worth it anymore. Comes to this thread, is it possible to learn such power? Two things that helped at least a little bit, one, doing things early during the day. The later the day gets the less likely I will do what I should do. This will also free your mind from that thing for the rest of the day. 2. Making a visual to-do list on a piece of paper placed in a spot that I will see it multiple times during the day. What exactly do you mean by visual to-do? Like, 
just a check off list. I use a big whiteboard for keeping daily lists and keeping track of projects in a way where I enjoy getting in there and updating things each day, basically, it's a way to keep track of shit that I enjoy interacting with. I realized that my laziness was a symptom of my depression so I start treating my depression. I took my antidepressant but also changed my lifestyle. Instead of getting out of bed with just enough time to get ready I get up with time to jog, eat breakfast with my wife and daughter. I started meal prepping to make sure we could have healthy lunches and dinners. I also started doing more self care. I am down 15 pounds and feel a lot better. Hey, can I ask what taking the antidepressant was like, and how much of a difference it made? I've just started counseling as of last week, and I have my suspicions that my own extreme laziness is also a symptom of depression. I know that sounds weird I wouldn't say I'm sad or having suicidal thoughts or anything. Just completely and utterly unmotivated and apathetic. I've been thinking about asking to see an actual psychiatrist, but I'm not sure what to do if I was told I should take antidepressants. Unfortunately it's one of those things where your mileage may vary drastically based on the right medication and dose for you. It might take some trial and error to find the right combo for you, but it's worth a try if you are feeling that way consistently for a while, haven't had success with other methods, and are willing to be patient with some side effects. If you are apprehensive about it you can always just see what progress you make with counseling first since you just started that. Whenever I've got a full time job, it switches my life around, I want to go to the gym, see friends, cook, etc. When I'm part time slash studying slash not working, I go back into mega lazy mode. Having something you have to go do every day is great. It gets you to start moving and once you're up and about it's easier to do other things. I find this to be totally opposite to how I feel. I was much more active slash did different things when I didn't have a 40 hours a week mandatory obligation every week. I read somewhere once, that if it takes between 5 seconds and 5 minutes to complete a task do it. Every single time. It's just 5 seconds to 5 minutes. Once I started putting it into play it became second nature. My first impulse is always, nah. But then I remember 5 by 5 and I sigh a little, and just do it. Whatever it may be. Routine. I'm a creature of habit. I had to force myself into the discomfort over and over again. Eventually this becomes the new normal. It's all habits, you have to force new ones. To add to this, getting to the gym and doing very little the first couple weeks is a pretty good strategy to build the habit to get there. I went there three times a week and just went for a quick swim or sat in the sauna. Adding a small amount of exercise each time. Eventually at some point, something clicked, and now I feel guilty slash angry at myself if I don't exercise on my scheduled days because it breaks my routine. 100% agree. I have successfully programmed my own gym habit and the habit of my workout partners by telling them to show up to the gym, then tell me in person they want to cancel. I won't ever give them grief over it. Just showing up created enough of a habit to become consistent exercises, removed. If it can be done in 5 minutes, get it over with now. If you have to do something like go to the gym but can't find the energy, just put on your gym clothes. Then you're already dressed. Two things, finding something I love doing for work and the 5 minute rule. Basically if it will take you less than 5 minutes, you do it. This then applies to everything with motivation. You get to a point where rather than having to motivate yourself to do things you train yourself to respond to the thought. Rather than I should go to the gym being followed by trying to find the energy and being passive, you get into the habit of when you have that thought you change clothes, gather your stuff and leave the house immediately. It doesn't always help but I achieve a lot more than I used to. I think the key to making it work is getting enough sleep, greater than I think the key to making it work is getting enough sleep. For people that don't have this issue, remember there is something as too much sleep. I'm a sleepy person and would tend to sleep 9 to 10 hours a day if I didn't set up alarms, but when I do, I tend to become more tired and lazy than when I sleep 7 to 8 hours a day. 
My rule is generally to always wake up around 7 a.m. except on Sunday where I don't set up alarms. Edit, I forgot to mention, if you oversleep and try to sleep a normal amount of hours, you won't feel immediate benefits. You'll still feel sleepy for a bit, but you have to stick to it, once your body gets into the schedule you'll feel better. You know you are getting used to it when you sometimes naturally wake up shortly before the alarm. Edit 2, since this is getting traction, I might add some other advice too. Working out also helps a lot with getting good sleep and feeling more energetic, basically if you oversleep and never tire your muscles, your body switches to energy saving mode. The issue is, we aren't a computer, you save energy in form of fat, which isn't readily available to give you energy when you need it, so you just get fatter and feel less energetic. I think I'm experiencing this right now. I hate getting up, I love sleeping, and recently I've been getting 10 hours a night but feeling really groggy all morning, and I feel a bit defeated by the whole thing because when I sleep less I detest getting out of bed so much. But I think I feel more awake when I get up earlier. It feels very unfair right now that in order to feel good during the morning I have to feel wretched when I wake up. Frown, I started doing favors for my future self. I treat myself like I would my best friend or my partner, and make sure to take care of her like I would them. Man, I'm really tired, but future cyanide backslash underscore girl would probably be so grateful if you did the laundry for her so she can relax tomorrow. It sounds kinda sad, but you are your own best friend. You're the one that's gonna be there if everyone else leaves. So take care of yourself like you would for your child slash mother slash sister slash best friend. Also, forgiveness is key. If you didn't do the thing, but should have done the thing, don't dwell on it. I find it makes me more and more sad the more I think about the thing I didn't do. You kinda have to treat yourself like a little puppy. If your puppy ate your socks, you wouldn't kick your puppy. Papa don't know any better, but you can get them a chew toy for next time. And sometimes, your puppy will still eat your socks, but it's okay because you love them. Edit, hey, I should probably mention that this isn't all my idea. Some guy posted a while back about no more zero days, and while I don't strictly adhere to all of its tenets, it seriously changed my life for the better. Here's a link https colon slash slash www.reddit.com slash r slash get discipline slash comments slash 1q96b5 slash i underscore just underscore don't underscore care underscore about underscore myself slash to four off utm underscore medium equals android underscore app and utm underscore source equals share you almost made me cry at work that is seriously the best way I have ever heard negative self-talk get broken down like that. You might have just given me the key to stop treating myself, internally, worse than I would any other living creature, except mosquitoes, heart, meds. Turned out the laziness was my ad preventing me from focusing on tasks long enough to finish them. Same, but depression instead. Meds helped me not feel like an emotional wreck and gave me then energy to get out of bed and not be lying around all day. Thank the smart folks for meds. Had a realization that I wasted many years of my life and was never going to get the time or ruined relationships back. I started to feel ashamed about how much of my life I had wasted. I realized that I would trade my entire life savings to spend just 15 minutes with my friend who committed suicide had a realization that, on my deathbed, I would never think to myself I wish I watched more TV. I stopped watching porn. I realized how important getting enough sleep is, 8 plus hours in my case. I cut down on my alcohol consumption. I discovered stoicism. I started a couple of fixed daily slash weekly schedules, like what time to work out. I chose something that I enjoy doing and tie a fixed schedule to it, then expanded by scheduling more useful things like a sleeping schedule and eating schedule. I slip up occasionally, but those things that I like stay constant, and it helps. This. Also, find out when you are most productive. For me it is mornings, so I started waking up really early and go to bed really early. Late evenings are usually when you feel the laziest, so I'd rather sleep than be lazy.
got a job that forced me to be on basically 100% of the time. The more others depend on me, the less lazy I tend to be. I kinda did that. I got a dog. I wouldn't leave the house for anything but the puppy needs walks and runs and eats anything in the floor so the house is clean and I'm much more active. I wouldn't do it for myself though. TL, doctor, everyone feels tired when their alarm clock goes off early, you just have to get out of bed when you're tired instead of laying in bed until you feel rested. I asked my wife this week, I feel so tired when my alarm clock goes off, I just want to keep sleeping until I don't feel so tired. How do you get out of bed so early? How do you feel so energetic in the morning? To which she responded that everyone feels tired when their alarm clock goes off, you just have to get up anyway. It was an eye-opener for me that I wasn't supposed to just lay in bed until I felt like getting up. It's summer time and I'm a teacher, so I don't have to go to work until later this month, I'm not sure if everyone does. My husband wakes up at like 5.30 to 6am chipper and ready to go. He describes himself as a morning person and he loves hopping out of bed and immediately working out. He also loves his job and says he's always just so excited to start the day and get to work. It is crazy to me, I truly did not know there were people like him until I married him. I would sleep until noon every day if I could, I am beyond envious of that feeling. I wake up, and I never feel rested. I could sleep for eternity. I don't like my job, and I basically daydream about the moment I'm back in bed watching Netflix again. By procrastinating being lazy. Tilda modern tilde lazy problems require tilde modern tilde lazy solutions. I'm still lazy. Basically knowing I need to work to exist is what keeps me motivated. This is totally me. People have always described me as lazy. I am very successful now. I am a dentist, I make quite a bit of money. Here's the thing, I'm still lazy, but I manage it very well. The key is to have goals and things that you won't compromise on. Sure, I can sleep in or play video games quite a bit but I needed to make sure I did the things I needed to do. I went to class. I studied when I had to. I didn't want to be poor so I did the things I knew I needed to do to not be poor and I think it comes down to having goals and doing what I need to in order to accomplish those goals. Now I get to be a lazy dentist. I'm my own boss. I do whatever procedures I want to and no one tells me I have to do anything. It took a lot of work to be this lazy but I sure can be lazy now, and I love it. Greater than I do whatever procedures I want to and no one tells me I have to do anything. Patient, hey doc, I need to fix a chip tooth silly wabitrix, you I feel like taking out a few molars today, so that's what I'm gonna do. We'll get to that chip tooth when I feel like it. I started using my lazy time to figure out what matters to me which I turned into motivation. For example I really enjoy a hot breakfast and the feeling of good hygiene. So I'd start scheduling around this, mainly forcing myself to wake up earlier each day to have time to prepare a proper breakfast and have an enjoyable non-rushed shower. This eventually just turned into a natural habit. I've applied this to lots of other things. Starts to make you feel great too, automation. Automation is the higher level result of laziness.